Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the second part of this chapter, so chapter eight, uh, safety and security from the ICTI GCC course. Uh, please check out the first part uh, where we looked at um, data protection and um, sensitive data. And uh, we looked at potential risks in the classroom or office environment. So we're now going to be looking at um, discuss why e-safety is needed. So let me zoom in so you guys can have a good look at these slides. Okay, discuss why e-safety is needed. So these days, youngsters are not fully aware of the dangers the internet poses and the potential risks they may put themselves under. So for that reason, e-safety lessons are taking place in schools to educate young people about the potential risks of using the internet appropriately so that they know how to stay safe whilst being online. So with e-safety, um, a young person may, may think they were in their home, they were in their bedrooms, um, they're safe. But obviously, if they're not using the internet appropriately, then they could be easily uh, put at risk. So what can we do to maintain our safety online? And um, what can we do to minimize the potential dangers? So let's have a look at our personal use of the internet. So how can we use the internet? We can use it for browsing, keeping up to date with current affairs, researching for school projects, online shopping or banking. To minimize potential uh, dangers, we can, only, we can make sure we're using trusted websites or those recommended by teachers, using um, a student-friendly search engine with safety filters. And we can also restrict access to certain content uh, you, we can use um, wider internet service provider or um, including or having a filtering software on your network perhaps or home network. Uh, you, emails, let's have a look. So why do we use emails? So to keep in touch with friends, families and co-workers, to share information including attachments, images, um, to get in touch with organizations. Um, and how can we stay safe um, when using emails to minimize the risks? So only email people um, that are already known to you or from your contacts list. Think before opening an email from an unknown person and be careful about emailing your school's name or picture. Um, oh, sorry, let me say, say that again. Be careful about emailing your school's name or a picture of yourself in your school uniform. Again, um, if someone was to receive this information, they could find out which school you're going to, where you're going to be after, you know, at certain times in the day. So maybe at four o'clock, three o'clock after school, they can find out your lo location based on your uniform. So you have to be careful about what you, sh uh, what you share. The use of social media. Now, this one is the most important one to stay on, um, safe online. So why would you use social media? Um, Maybe you want to share information about yourself to your friends and followers, uh, maybe for your uh, business use to promote, create awareness. And it's really important you follow these principles here to stay safe um, when using social media. So know how to block and report unwanted users in a chat room or on your account. Never give out any personal information online. Never arrange to meet strangers, especially in a secluded place. Keep adults informed about your use of social media. So if someone is, you know, sending you messages, you can always inform your parents, your teachers, and action can be taken accordingly. So don't let others, um, you know, people send you abusive messages online. Make sure you know to block them straight away and make sure you report that information straight away as well. Um, online gaming, again, uh, it could be for leisure act uh, purposes to keep in touch with your friends, family, and co-workers. Um, have I not changed that for email? It looks like it's the same thing. Yeah, I didn't change it. <laughs> don't know why I've done that. Okay, yeah, so online gaming. Ignore what we have in this box. I need to update that. Okay, so online gaming. Why would you play on... Uh, online um, because you want to have uh, fun you want to interact with your friends um, however never use your real name um, when playing games online use appropriate language when um, you are communicating um, obviously you would have your headset on and you'd be talking to your um, to the other game players and only play online with trusted friends so hopefully guys if you can follow the principles in the green boxes 
then it should help you to stay safe online. Here is an exam question. So a student uses social media to keep in contact with other people. Describe four strategies that, that a student could use to stay safe when using social media to communicate with others. So to, the first principle is don't give out personal information. Don't send inappropriate images to anyone. Um, set privacy settings so only friends can con contact you. Report any abuse, block that person. Don't become friends with strangers. Um, another question, instant messaging involves users sending text messages to each other. Evaluate how you would use e-safety strategies in your own use of instant messaging. So I would block unwanted messages and suspicious users and report the sender. Also, I would never arrange to meet strangers alone. In addition, I would avoid giving out personal information. When sending messages, I always use appropriate language. It is also best to avoid sarcasm and not to be offensive when replying. It is also really important to report cyberbullying. Furthermore, abusive messages should also be reported. A common use of home computers is online gaming. Describe three safety measures which should be taken when playing games on the internet. Um, so again, report and block cyber bullies, turn on privacy settings, don't use your real name and don't give away personal information. Right guys, please join me in the next video and in the next video we're going to be looking at security threats like hacking, uh, fishing, farming and so on. So with regards to this video, drop your comments below, like and share and please subscribe and good luck if you have exams coming up soon. Okay, thank you guys, bye bye.